the blade off, which would have been that quick pick move onto another target. So EG were really not ready for Vega's timing. It's almost one of those questions where should you just cut your losses? Now they are ready to fight. Universe moves forward. He sees Mag, Seema, no one. Who's he want to go on first? He goes over on Seema, trying to keep this ice blast out. And Gia keeping Mag controlled. The Shadow Grave will keep Dazzle alive as they do take a two for one trade off. The one being PB2 who now shatters. But Arteezy locks him. That snowball. It makes an iry, spicy, fiery death as you're locked in with the ice shards as well as those searing chains. And maybe they find more. Fear trying to escape. He can't brain sap in time. And Vega really making the most of this early game advantage they've got. It's not the greatest trade, but you yeah. yep. EG really wanted to try and capitalize. It's a normal trade-off when you die side. You're happy to lose your tier one tower on top for Roshan. The buyback comes out from the task guard and Mag whoops! Um, whoops as well with the Sonic Wave. But connect over on Samael, but Artesian and Samael, they survived through the initial crush. They survived through the BKB timing of no one. The crush will this time hit on Arteezy, but that strength is still up. But do they have enough of it? Arteezy finding no one in the tree lines with the sun. They've moved over to kill off that spin. He can't stay alive long enough. Samael just needs to get out of here safely. Fear will allow that to happen. Happen. But uh, he'll give his life for the cause. And EG, they keep giving up so much, and now Roshan should belong to Vega. It really shows what shot. Because it's the Aghanim set for Samal that came in. But when you've got a courier flying over the top of a Radiant Observer Ward like that, Vega understand that EG has to be moving around this area. And they're sitting on the high grounds. The Observer's planted. And Samal instantly BKB, making some kind of quick attack. University finds Seema. They can take out the A ult in this one. Arteezy also. That BKB will let him fight up against Solo. Max jumping to the right. That Sonic Wave hits so hard. Universe of Fear will burn. And Samal Laguna Blade, the damage will still He'll kill off Mag, and it's just going for full-on trade-offs here. Arteezy looking for a fight, but Pancha has that steering, steering change for control. This fight is splitting into two different parts, but the main part is Pasha. Arteezy with that gold strength, ripping through him. It's a huge one too. Huge amounts of gold, but Samael still can't survive long enough, but maybe he can when Arteezy... No, he can't. The wall is punched, will flip him back up into the air. They try and disengage. Solo won't be so lucky. He actually does lose the gem to EG after all. And now Vega, they want... They want more. If they find a kill on Sumail or Arteezy, the game is more or less over. These two cores for EG are way too important right now, and they have so long cooldown on their buybacks that with any sort of aggressive play from Vega, they see being Arteezy. successful here is... The Observer on the hillside, they're gonna see PPD too far away. There's that blink hex, Arteezy caught out, Fear, the Nightmare actually finds Arteezy's face, goes for the big AZ, Zorbo, he's got the grave! What? He's making her away! I'll go for more! AA will die as well, a triple kill for Artur! And Mag trying to run away. The Weave gave him a little bit of extra vision. The Dire Observer was down too. They're teeping into the lane. It's Amal with the BT. Found the Green Wave. Can't get this done. Mag will try and crush him out of here. Fear still too far away. One second till Blink. Without Fiend's Grip. He really does need it too. Because he's a glass cannon. Maybe a little bit more like two plate glass with that Scarding on him. But still, there's not a lot to work with here in Arteezy. And he's trapped inside the pit through the shards. Just keeping Roshan company, get, trying to keep this sigil out. And this is the standoff we're expecting, but EG are okay with this. Uh, Vega have to keep sending Pasha back to keep the creep wave pushed out. And is EG actually getting a little... Okay, Samal gonna BKB. Expected some level of engagement on him after he gets shot blocked. It was a five second BKB, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Vega just Unless if they fight now. Is yeah. that enough to trigger this? Ah, there's no it's, way. They're baiting you. It's so risky. If you go in, you get weaved like this. You've got three heroes weaved up, losing armor, and Samal wants to make the most out. Jump forward, Universe. He is going to get the one hex up, and Samal controls for the moment. Arteezy in the middle of the fight. It's going to be leading to find the kill. The Snowball trying to give a little bit of protection here for Solo, but Arteezy currently locked back. Fear is doing it from inside the pit by keeping that bean strip up. Now even no one's in trouble. They nightmare over on a couple of us down the bottom river where Arteezy grabs himself a triple kill the cleave goes to work and Seema can he TP out in time barely so you got no ember spirit for two minutes he bought back to rejoin that fight Radiance, that's back. a full dive there can EG why go Roshan they're Radiance, coming in for the GG push they want game one in fact GG well played Vega will just call it Radiance, they understand they have been defeated top. in just over an hour by evil geniuses Radiance, top, 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 top. I think Pasha should have 
in this situation, probably considered a BKB over his buyback. You just, again, it was Sumail's Hex that decided that fight. They found the opening that they were looking for, and EG do take it. I, I think it's very impressive considering how big a lead Vega built that they, that EG managed to pull this one back. And it's looking good going into the next game because I think, I agree with the panel. The panel pretty much unanimously agreed that Vega probably had the stronger draft. Yeah. So if EG can outplay them like this in the mid late game after being behind like that, that's a, that's very promising. Well, let's actually go back to the boys over at the panel and get their thoughts on game number one of this best of three between EG and Vega. Thank you very much, uh, Toby and Cinderin, of course. Okay, now even less, because it's darkness. The Observer was down from Vega, and they really feel like something is wrong. Spirit Break is charging in, so that's keeping the vision over on Pasha, and PvD move forward. They've got the Curse of Babel, doing it on the Doombringer, but no, the Shards actually pushing him back down again, away from the Sunstrike, and Zima gets the full duration of the Ops. Darkly is down, but the Invoker burning him with a Meteorite, but still too much damage being done out of Vega. The Requiem made a lot of space for him, and now PPD attempts to TP out. There's no more as Punch, so the attempt will be successful. Samal, however, needs to buy himself some space. Back into the tree line. The Dana still working, the buyback comes out from Fear, and no one. Where's your Cold Snap? Where's your Stun? Oh. It's gonna connect from Fear, combining with the Sun Strike. No one will die underneath the Radiant Tier 1 tower, making that buyback really worth it for Fear. Great buyback. Samael would have mother against EG's, EG's team. So instead, they just have to use Solar to slow down EG so the Doombringer can get close enough. That's what they're trying now. They break through the smoke and move instantly over towards PPD. And PPD, well, he's silenced up and destroyed. The Meteorite, however, Universe trying to back it back in with the Meteorite connecting. They have the Death Ward, but Greed is negating most of that damage early on. In fact, Fear is now going to charge himself in. No one's too low. He can't survive this. Fear, one bat will do the work for him. No one gets the ulti up. At least it'll be a bit of a trade off. But Pasha, how much life has he got up against Arteezy? Looks like it's more than enough. It's a two-for-one trade-off up against Samal, however. Well, with that control, Steamer can't survive that. The Paralyzing Cast will lock Samal and Arteezy here. Mag can't find another follow-up. In fact, they just jumped forward towards Pasha. The Iron Shell damage, in fact, with the Nether Strike, they push the Doombringer back. And Vega will lose three on this top lane. Too late. He's not what they came for. They even get a tornado hit over to Solo as Samal blinks forward. Yule set this over on, on the Tanka, taking him out of the fight with the cooldown damage. Maybe they got enough, but Doombringer, Pasha finally gets that Samal. They'll find the killer and the killer. No, they won't. They caught the cold embrace and the Greaves, and then they're back into a wall. Max down. The curse is over on Pasha. He can't run away. Not only has that extra help from the paralyzing cast, and Seema letting that death ward go, but Arteezy is the man taking all of it at the moment. And you know they're coming back. Fear charging over as he runs through three heroes on his way through. Samal will burn the Aegis of the Immortal. And he actually has no real friends here. So no one's waiting for him to come back up against Samal. Runs into the Ghost Walk. Where's your detection? It doesn't exist. Samal can. Universe jumps forward. Misses. Completely wafts the back with a blink. The BKB did, however, go off from the Doombringer. So this will start to time out. They have no Wyvern with a tornado. Oh, that Doom. It's over on Arteezy, so there's no extra damage, but he already got the cold and off feeding him. So forward, so forward. They got that Sunstrike looking for the damage. Partial will remain alive through it. That snowball very deep. Going up the universe and dragging no one with him, but it gets been range through Arteezy, who's getting completely controlled by that paralyzing cast. And now brought down by no one. Bottom lane. Remember what they're here for, Baker. They need to be able to get that advantage, but on to no one. EG, EG, they keep the Seema as well as no one here with the Ice Ball. There's no easy run away from this one, but Samael, that bloody paralyzing cast bouncing around. Universe will drop. Fear can't find enough space. The snowball from Maggie chase after dead hero is already GG. EG understand it was this or nothing and has in fact nothing. No one gets the Ultra Kill and 17 leads to 40 minutes Victor. for this game. Vega will force a deciding match between EG. And all it took for, for this game for Vegas to come back. I think EG played an amazing early game. Their early mid game to me was super high class. The problem that starts showing is we saw the fight in the bottom lane. The moment Vega attacked from two fronts, it gets so much harder for EG to perform in the lineup. The, the fights they got on their terms were incredible. Yep. Then their terms just weren't really met anymore. No, it was... Uh... It was a wonderful performance. EG bringing some high quality Dota, but Vegas showing that it's no miracle. They got themselves here into the winner's bracket, but we will go to the miracle makers. It's our panel for their thoughts on game number two.
lot of damage. He went for a lot of points up in stats too as, uh, as this anti-mage. Yep. That's the way to go. Mid T1 tower. Okay, it's within deny range. They want to go for this. The Maldus jumps forward, gets the Orkin over on Seema, commits the Sonic Wave. So Seema should pop from the Orkin attack. And when the Ice Blast connecting on Mag Clockwork wants to TP out, the Nightmare will end up canceling this. After they take the tower, they'll take the Clockwork as well. And Solo running forward, but this Tombstone won't do anything. He saw his battle, but because he sticks, he sticks around so long, Samal can slow him down, attack him up, and allow Artiti to find the pick. And no one, he arrives for the Orc is already off cooldown. Pasha might let this cooldown go, but he's Nightmare in control for the moment. Was able to walk himself out of the cold feet. And Artizi, there's no tree spy. He can, he can six slot himself within the next two, three minutes at this rate. And there's Roshan up, which he can solo. You might be looking for a fight here. Well, he, sold one. he sold his blast. No one bottom lane. Blink Raw is going to go. Samel. Sonic Wave with the Ice Blast connecting. The Beastmaster actually gets almost 800 gold for this. And Fear Nightmares over on the Undying. This allows him to kill off the Tombstone and then attack in to this Undying. Wait out the Nightmare. Surround him hard. And now Solo will be brought down. They might even find more because Seema gets caught out. And EG, they're basically playing Leapfrog on the bottom lane. Catching up to Pasha. Samal is a little bit too far away. Can blink fall, but has no disable. But EG doesn't really matter for them. Okay. Artizi just goes in anyway. Kills off the homing missile. The Kree wave still hasn't arrived, but it's the backdoor regeneration is there. And they force the fortification out from Vega before the Kree wave even arrives. This is two lanes of racks if they don't buy back one Granger, I think. The call down. At the very least, one. This call down of Flycam has been used so early. The Kree wave is never going to retreat. Yeah, they get one thing. Yeah. Well, they might have more time. Especially if Samel goes for this initiation. Put everything back off cooldown. And EG, they're just poised, seeing if Vega will give them the opening. They won't, so they back up, and they're headed towards Roshan. And RTC with 6k. He sold his Vlads before that, so he didn't even have that as part of the fight. Didn't need it. No. I'm imagining he's going to take the Aegis and they're going to try to use it right away and then he'll buy probably an Abyssal. And then he can solo Windranger. <laughs> and there's no there's no choice for no one coming. here. He can't. Mag, he's in a good position for a hook shot for Bane. The Nightmare is going to stop this and this buys the time. It's so big time and the boar even blocks out. They can't finish the job. The Hulk is trying to push him back but it's taken out by the Dire Side. Roshan belongs to EG. And the fight will go their way to the Mana Void. Spilling so much damage out with a scream. It's three down and basically game. GG. EG will be the first team here at the Frankfurt Major to get into the semi finals. Pushing Vega down 2 1 here in the quarters. And it really just comes it comes down to Vega's inability to shut down the AM early on. I thought they would invest a lot more resources into disallowing Arteezy from getting this game. From a draft perspective, I feel like they don't have the counters needed. Um, that said, the, what really glued EG's lineup together was Arteezy was split pushing somewhere, and that allowed Beastmaster and Queen of Pain to find countless kills with Ice Blast and just delaying Vega more and more. <laughs> so, very nice strategy all around. Of course, Bane also involved in a lot.